all right let's finish up this dungeon here and i've got uh i don't know how long it's gonna take but i've got to this is the only quest i have at this time so once we're done with this quest i've got to run around and find other quests They do. That should be the last of them, Army. Revelio. They do not like Incendio. All right, let's look here. There's something up here. Wow, okay. Oh, my darn shoulder is itching suddenly. I tell y'all what. I Something I struggle with, and I have an uncle that's like this too, is I get... I have a problem with... Descendo. How should I put this? Accio. I have hair grow on my back, and I'm allergic to it on my upper back. Um, not on my lower back, but just my upper back. It makes no sense. Alright, something's got to be done I guess I guess not anyway uh, so I have this thing it's a back shaver right. don't wish to be seen do we? and I literally used it like three days ago and this morning my back was itching so bad and I was like what in the world is going on and sure enough Incendium. for some reason in the past three days either that back shaver did not work that first time or my hair grew so darn fast that it, it like grew five times faster than possible <laughs> no okay we got to we got to definitely get rid of at least two items uh we'll get rid of that. that you always want to get rid of two items if you're doing that that way this is not good they're building enormous drills bigger than this mine could contain 
Let's get out of here and tell Lodgott what we found. Ravenia. It causes, it causes my upper back break out really bad, and my oh, shoulder will do the later. same thing. And my this shoulder feels like. I'm glad you came with me, Omit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. My shoulder feels like it's blistered. And my upper back will get like that to where it feels like it's blistered. Rebellion. It's horrible feeling. Jack o' lanterns. Another thing that does it most kinds of soap. I'm almost out of here. I have two soaps Look, or three. A welcome sight indeed. I'll say four soaps uh. I can use. Rebellion. Where is it at? There it is. Okay. You know what? What's up here? Okay. But, uh, stuff like Dove, and there's another one. I'm trying to think of the name of it. Uh, Ivory. If I even touch Dove or Ivory, I instantly start breaking out Talk about what and happened. have this like burning rash all over oh my god it's horrible that wasn't so bad was it it was it really was i'm afraid i've had enough adventure for one day for a lifetime perhaps thank you Amit. i couldn't have done it without you now if you don't mind i'd like to have a word with lodgok understood i'll leave you to it your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without oh. further ado, Hachu. Hachu. <laughs> so, yeah, um. Revelio. My shoulder is like blistering right now for some reason, and I don't know if it was soap I got into, something that I touched, or if it's from where. I didn't shave my shoulder because I didn't. I only like shaved my upper back and They're my shoulder. Enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes. If you share Ranrock's views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. So was surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me. When she looked up, I thought she would react with fear or disdain. But instead, she did something that I will never forget. Without a moment's hesitation, she smiled and asked me to sit with her. She told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. 
She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research, and I know of the container. Ah. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways, with her promising to share what she'd learned. More of Renrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig, eventually locating the first repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery, but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it, but I don't know. After that, something shifted in me. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock, transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. Thank you, Lord Gok, for telling me this. Mm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor, at some point, built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Mm. We've got to stop him. Ooh. It's kind of calming down. Don't feel quite so bad. It might just be the way that my shirt pulls across it sometimes. Right. <coughs> I hope Professor Fitz. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Come by Spin Witches as soon as you can. Need more? Okay. I know where I'm going. First, we're going to go sell stuff to uh, our store. Well, sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. It is wonderful to see you back here. Hey, Penny. Oh, perhaps today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? Oh my gosh, they've got my flappy hat. The fur lined hat. That is what Nameless calls the flappy hat. I'll show y'all what it looks like. Penny wishes second. you safe and wondrous travels. Safe and wondrous travels, Penny. Thank you very much. All right, if we look here, it is the fur lined hat. That is my flappy hat. That if if you ever hear a nameless talk about my flappy hat, that's what she's talking about. 
I wish that it was white or black instead. All right. Okay. I tell you what, I want to choose something else. For I've been using that for a while now. Uh, I like the, the black, but I don't like the pants like that. That one's not bad. Uh, the Lilac Ensemble is pretty cool, but I'm going to go with the Legendary Armor. I just like it. Either that or the, the Dark Wizard would be okay. Quest! Oh, wrong room. I wonder if they'll ever find that gold. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom upgrade for you. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. You're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> this may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details. <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm almost there. I just think I can improve broom flight a bit more. Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ranrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However... If you're flying high above them, you should be all right, I think. I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. <laughs> Do be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. OK. I look forward to our next meeting. Tales of Beetle the Perhaps Bird. I could test out my new upgrade on the way. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? I want to... I want to test something. I'm still too close to Hogsmeade for it to let me do what I need to do. Whoa. Revelio. thought that I heard something. I'm going to land in the courtyard, I guess, and we'll go from there. heard any nasty comments lately not since you got me that venomous tentacular leaf all right 
I think that we should be good doing this. Um, we need to go to the secret room. In the map chamber, I think is where it said. Well, let's go. So I've got maybe about an hour and a half left. Maybe an hour or maybe an hour and a half. Something like that. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. Allery. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. Bad, how are you doing, man? You never said anything, but it says you're in here. Revelio. All right. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig will know what to do. All right, we're going to go. To the map. We have a quest here. All right, I'm not going to uh, actually do here. We'll uh, play the game right now, probably. But um, I'm just going to start the quest. Hello, Samantha. Are you here for someone as caught? I am. I'm hoping to get my brother out here soon, too, since thanks to you, he's recovered from his um, vegetative state. Glad to hear it. In all fairness, I must warn you that I am frightfully good. Shall we begin? No. Perhaps uh, another time. Of course, uh, another time. <laughs> yeah, I just want it on my quest because I don't think it, yeah, it wasn't on there, so Holly Juice Quad. Okay. So we've got a thing now here. Let's look here. Let's go to Hogsmeade. And if we look at Hogsmeade, there is absolutely no quest anywhere around. Uh, but there is something right here that I want to go check out. I've never been up here to my knowledge. And I'd like to go and look at it and see if this is the place that I did go. And here I come. Yes! Revelio. I love it, I love it, I love it. We've got a Christmas tree. So it was this one here. So it's actually this one that I was seeing on the map. I have been here.
We should speak with Mr. Bickle's friends. I believe I can sneak away without drawing my mother's eye. Meet me near Hogsmeade, and we will devise a plan. Hey. I think I know how and where to approach the centaurs about protecting the Snidgets. Meet me in the Forbidden Forest. Anybody else? I need some more quests. Uh... I do not see her, so we're going to go up here. We're just going to try. Hmm. You know what? Let's go kill this infamous foe. Just go kill it. Kill it, kill it, day it. How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Are you in some sort of trouble? Nearly attacked by wolves, I was. Only just escaped with my life. I need to be better prepared next time. Could use some thunder brew. I don't suppose a student like yourself would be in possession of such a thing? Yes, I have some right here. Please take it and be careful. Oh, thank you, thank you. I knew you had a good heart. I feel better already just knowing I have some thunder brew on hand. Please take this as thanks for your generosity. How many thunder brew did she? I gave her one. All right. Well, I hope that there's only two, two of the summoner court matches because I hate that game. I am not good at it. Rebellion. What is this over here? Confringo. Expelliarmus! Bombarda! So, I'll show you something I learned. If you go to the map, and you press L2 when you go all the way out, if you look right here, this bog enemies can only go from level 10 to 25. That means if you're level 1 to 10, they're going to be 10. And then if you're 11, 25, they're going to be whatever level you are. Or if you're 10 to 25, they'll be whatever level you are. If you're above 25, they will max out at 25. So that's something. And if you look, it tells where all the stuff is and like if you look right here it says that there's one landing platform there's one astronomy table there are two sets of balloons there are three more merlin trials and there's actually only one more of the uh field guide pages and then there's uh four collection chests this is how we're going to um learn what's going on here so if you look back here this is the same thing. So this troll that we're going after, uh, the infamous foe, all of these infamous foes will be level 25. Um, and there's, there's two landing platforms. The Forbidden Forest, it has another ancient magic hot spot. So, yeah, this is very a very good thing to have to be able to figure out what you're missing so i'm going to go buy these a lot here very soon so in that one all right that's okay i got you this is the south hogwarts region and i'm assuming that this includes anything not at hogwarts itself so 
and stuff here is only up to level 20 so we're actually really good to, to go around this area and do stuff i want to see the forbidden forest goes up to level 40 so we got to be careful with the enemies there but uh if we go down this one goes up to 30 in hogwarts valley and yeah we've got a lot of stuff to find in the old Croft region we've got a ton of stuff to still find but we've got all the balloons uh balloons we've got to get one thing of balloons there we've got one balloon there we have two balloons up there so and then you have the south sea bog and it doesn't have very much so then there's the coastal cavern and the coastal cavern it does have one thing of uh balloons so i need to do that but if you look these all go up to 40 that's a yeah and then these all are level 20 to 40 as well. Um, 25 to 40, 30 to 40. The Clagmire Coast is the, the hardest. I would say it's based on whatever the lowest enemy level is. So I don't know if there is a way to actually go into this area at all without basically without uh advancing the story i don't know what's going on so i'm hoping that we get to go there in this next quest Revelio. incendio should have unlocked a thing for me to do. It was worth 300 experience. Revelio. There's a balloon right there. Revelio. I don't see the other one. Where 
Where is it at? Well, that's not good. Let me see if I can get down off of my broom right here. You can't dismount here. Why am I always on patrol? Revenue. My skills. All right, I don't know where the other balloon is at. I do not see it. That really stinks. I think I've actually already done this one time, but... Rebellion. Okay. There it is. Got it. Nice. Okay. Uh that's collections so i'm not gonna do it yet i want to go back in and look and see if i see any kind of west on the map anywhere um let's hold on let's go to challenges i should have just got a new challenge undone for combat All right. I think that was it. Should have been it. Rebellion. There's a Merlin trial. I'll do most of these. I don't think there's actually very many um things. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. You can learn a lot from weather, though, can't you? It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Revelio. I'm only looking to see if I see one that's got a special look. That one right there. No. I don't know exactly what that stuff means about them. I don't know if it means that they're the, like, alpha alpha, or what exactly it means for it to have the star on it, but I would like to... I would like to keep the, uh, those specifically. Alright, so there's actually a... There's a unicorn den right here, but I don't want to go do that right now. Uh, I don't see any other quest, so let's just go back here. Sky is the limit. Uh, okay. Um... Let's just see if we can find her. Oh! Oh! That's why we can't do it yet. Okay. That is why we can't go do it yet. And why she's here, I don't know. But I, I'm going to try wow. to get here. What is it? What's wrong? Goblins, that's what. 
Rad rocks lot. Nasty creatures. Ambush me, they did. Nothing safe anymore. I need a little something. Something to protect me if I run into them again. Maxima potion. That would do it. You're right. The world's not safe at the moment. It's best to take precautions. Here, use it wisely. Oh, I will. You can be sure of that. Ranrock's lot won't take me down. <laughs> I know that voice. And I have you to thank. Please, accept this gift in exchange for your help. So I got my Thunder Brew back. Revelio. So this means that we're fixing to unlock this at least. Confringo. Bombada. Protego. Defender. Glacius. Expelliarmus. Incendium. Stupid fight. I gotta tell y'all I can't wait for Wednesday I think I'm gonna get to go I'm hoping I get to go to uh, family dinner again finally I am so looking forward to it Confringo Expelliarmus, bombarder. All right, I, I need to switch that back. That. This looks intriguing. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. I'm gonna just go on and throw my malice sweep down. I don't know how to do these yet. Bombarder. Repairer. Yeah, I don't know how to do them. I'll have to figure them out later. this Glacius. Bombarda Revelio Glacius. I don't know how to do that. It, it won't open for me. So we can't do this quest yet, I don't think. It will not allow me to, to get here. Although, it looks like there may be... It looks like there may be a point right here. I think I have to open that and I don't know how. 
out of bounds turn back at least it didn't tell me out of bounds before so i don't know i do not know how to do this so oh man she has got to both of them have got to stop they've got to watch out they are both very much getting themselves into trouble and need to let me do it and stay out of it. How oh, nice to see you, my young friend. I'm going to put down. That. <laughs> this place has seen better days. Revelio. Are you ready to put an end to Harlow? Yes! Put an end to Harlow right now. I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Filbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rabe. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the hog's head, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rabe, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Filbert. And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. Okay. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. All right. Hopefully, by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. Revelio. All right, wait a minute. Uh, is this a is this the broom shop? I swear to me, yes, it is. Why is the blue shop unavailable? It is wonderful to see you back here. Hello. Today you have something you'd like Penny to sell for you? I'm sorry, I actually don't. I thought I did. Miss Penny, I am so sorry. I thought that I had some. Rebellion. Mrs. Rabe should be nearby. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rabe, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? 
I'm a security guard at Gringotts, and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give, and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Have you helped Harlow since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. Why don't we just kill him? You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger. Some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Revelio. Where is Serona? I always have to get something to eat when I come in here. I love the Christmas tree. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check there. Yeah, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I hid the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it should I come across it. 
It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. What have you been doing to keep the extortion a secret? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Of course, none of this bodes well for my efforts to improve my circumstances and to be worthy of Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Dude. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Stand up for what you want. We're on the right track. Now to find the last of Mr. Bickle's friends. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Don't think I have the brushed wool cape. And I'm pretty sure I don't have that. I'm going to buy both of them. Oh, I see it. I don't... I'll find it later if I need to. I've already got that one. I know. Uh, I'm just going to... I'm going to back out first. And then I'm going to actually sell them today. right back to Take them. Your time. Okay. Mr. Hill, I'm sorry to have to tell you, but... Uh, You're going to be surprised in the future, probably. <laughs> I haven't seen that guy. I am stuck. Oh my goodness. I'm actually stuck. <laughs> hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> Perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Rookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. 
he found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now okay. to find Natty. All right. Let me, uh... On her. Revelio. Oh, there's actually still a place that's locked right here. Let's go in here. Aloha, Mora. All right, I'm going to end this episode after this uh, house. Revelio. <clears throat> Certainly never revealed the charm. And I will pick back up before I talk. To him. 